It's about 10.15 in the morning on Saturday, and we arrived at the con a little while ago, but it looks like we can't even get inside the dealer's room. The line is closed. There's a full line waiting to get inside the dealer's room. It's closed. But we have gotten a really nice look at the cosplayers walking back and forth, and while I see a lot of regular amounts of uh, Bleach and Full Metal Alchemist and Hetalia and stuff like that, we're seeing a lot of surprising amount of cosplays of Pokemon. Tons, maybe because of the game, or I don't know, but I'm seeing lots of Pikachus and trainers going by. Haven't seen one Mudkip yet, which is a surprise, but I've seen a bunch of Pikachu and their related Pokemon running around, a few Misties and all that. Very interesting. We'll probably stop a bunch of them and take pictures. But I found it interesting. Hey, you guys, I found Carmen San Diego. Oh, you haven't caught me yet. But I haven't caught her yet, but she's here in Baltimore. Um, do you like? Are you a fan of the game, or are you like the character? Or? Well, I'm a fan of the game, and also I grew up on the game show where in the world is Carmen San Diego. Where in time, not so much. You know, Carmen San Diego time travel. Leave it to Doctor Who. That's pretty awesome. I like seeing older characters brought to life in cosplay. So nice seeing you. Nice costume. Well, if you have the loot, the warrant, and you know, the oh no, <laughs> then maybe you can catch me again. My gumshoe <laughs> failed me, I, or my uh, my uh, travel agent failed me. I, <laughs> trust Acme, they're never that good at their job. Damn, okay. <laughs> so, stocking, you have a beautiful costume and you've got your two swords and everything. I do. And um, so I take it you're a big fan of the recent panty and stocking? I'm actually not, and I know that's horrible to say. I'm more attracted to the costume because it's sparkly and pretty and flouncy. So you just love her look? I love the look more than the series, but I did enjoy it. But you, okay. Well, it's okay. I, I didn't really watch Panning Stocking either. Here's the full disclosure, whatever. But I love stocking too. That, that's why we had to stop you and uh, congratulate you on your beautiful costume. Thank you. Um, have fun. Okay. I know it's going to look a lot farther apart than we really are. And we ran into Lauren Orsini. Yay! Hello. You might recognize her or recognize her name because she was a contributor with Japanator as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, now she is the otaku journalist, so she's running around the con and doing her own thing too. But um, do you have anything to say to Japan? Tour? Well, hello everyone. I've been having a great time here at Otakon. What always gets me about Otakon is that there's no exact reason people go to this con. It's not just we go to this one because this is the one with the panels. This uh -huh. is the one with the best dealer's room. People go to Otakon because it's Otakon. My good friend Charles Dunbar, the anime anthropologist, was telling me about this. He says, all roads lead to Otakon. And when I'm here, I realize, yes, this is the mixing bowl of anime fandom. That's very interesting. So this is kind of like the coming home for all the buddies every year. Mm -hmm. This is this is my fourth year going to Otakon, and just every year I get so excited around Otakon time. And by the time I'm here, I'm just already tired because because oh, I was just so excited and using up the energy. This is my first time at Otakon, so I'm welcome. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> so I'm getting used to seeing the vast amount of people compared with like I just go to a lot of cons in Florida. They're so much smaller, so this is interesting. It's fun. Mm -hmm. um, so it was great seeing you, Lauren. It was great seeing you, Christina. And um, have fun. Stuff. Hi. Making our way towards the dealer room, we've run into a Dr. Wiley. Yes, Dr. Wiley. Yes, yes. You're, uh, are you very enthusiastic about your character? I, uh, I enjoy creating the robots. Uh, I brought a little light reading material with me. One, two, three robotics experiments for the evil genius. That's, uh, that is brilliant. Yes, yes. Uh, it, bedtime reading for me. I, I've quantum robot destruction rays. It's, that's, that's a little bit, you know, advanced, uh, right. compared to this. All in a that's night's reading. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, congratulate you on your wonderful costume. Oh, thank you. Hope you're having a good time. Oh, yes, yes. I uh, plan on meeting up with my master robots later, and, um, We'll probably be killing a lot of people. Oh no, I, I hope we can avoid that then. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, we're still wandering around the dealer's room and we ran into the most adorable Ultros I have ever seen in cosplay. Hi. Hi. Um, what's your name and where are you from? Or rather, like the group. <laughs> Hi, I'm Victoria Belmont. I'm with Cosplay Burlesque. And yes, I am Ultros from Final Fantasy VI. Freaking adorable. Cosplay Burlesque has a show tonight as in Saturday evening. It's an 18 and over show, mm -hmm. right? But um, they did one last year, which I heard was extremely successful. Mm -hmm. We packed the room. We even had to turn away a couple hundred people, which I feel bad about, but there's only so many people you can see. Unfortunate, that, but it, that's how you know it's a really popular show. So um, look forward to a little more coverage on that later on. We will be interviewing a few other people. Mm -hmm. And uh, congratulations on your beauty costume. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, so this time around, we actually ran into a Japanator reader, one of your fellow readers. This is a uh, One Piece character over here, Soga King, right? Mm -hmm. um, so I take it you're a big One Piece fan? Um, I just started reading, but my friends are big One Piece fans. And are you um, a regular attendee at Otakon? Uh, yeah, it's been my third year. Nice. So. Here you've got one of your fellow readers with this awesome, uh, do you make the mask yourself? Uh, yeah, it's uh, paper mache and a bunch of clay together. That looks really cool, so congratulations on your wonderful costume. <laughs> Okay, this is an instance where we saw beautiful costumes and we had to stop and ask, what is, what are you cosplaying? I'm Fakir from Princess Tutu. Okay. And are you Princess Tutu? <laughs> you guys look adorable. Um, did you make your costumes yourselves? Yes. Yes. And um, are you regular Otakon attendees? For the past five years. Wow. So you've been coming around a long time. <laughs> For you three? Okay. So, um, that's cool. Are you? Uh, what's your favorite anime that's going on right now? It's going on right now. I guess Naruto. I guess. So you're a shonen fan, fighting shows. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> well, we uh, we had to congratulate you on your beautiful costumes. Thank you. Nice seeing you around. Well, this this time around, we ran into four lovely princesses. They are all wonderful and beautiful. Did you did you all make your costumes yourselves? Yes, we did. And are you all here together? Yes. <laughs> so you planned this whole princess thing. We love doing groups and this year we decided to do the Nintendo princesses because everyone recognizes them but few can truly pull it off. I think you guys are pulling it off really well. Um, what other uh, groups have you done before? Um, we've done pink versions of all the Kingdom Hearts characters. Oh, that's cute! So, um, I was girly Sora, girly Riku, girly Roxas, and what else have we done? We've also done a lot of Kingdom Hearts and Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy. Just classics, everyone sees them as well. Nice. The Super Smash Brothers Brawl Group. Yeah. With yeah. a Lolita Pikachu and a Lolita Jigglypuff. <laughs> girly uh, Mario girly. and Peach. Yeah. Peach. That sounds adorable. Oh, well, you guys have beautiful costumes. Okay, now we've stopped and Edward and Alphonse, um, what stood out really, really much, uh, a lot for me anyway, was this Alphonse, uh, it's a complete costume, which is rare to find, you get a nice little look there. I usually just see people walking around with like a paper mache helmet or something that they made out of, or out of cardboard or something else, a little disembodied, just the head of Al, and this is a complete one, looks really fantastic, so can you tell me a bit about the costumes? Okay. Um, well, this one is made out of this, the craft mesh stuff, and uh, with felt sewn over it, it's a lot li more lightweight. Doesn't weigh 20,000 pounds, and you can still move. Um, and um, it's, it's not very hot, is it? No, it's not very hot. <laughs> um, this one is just st solid craft felt, just straight up, up craft felt all down. Um, took about a month to make for that one. Um, another month to make this. Uh, it was, it's one of my favorites, though. Came That's great. Um, it's very creative. It's a nice way to get the costumes together without dying. <laughs> <laughs> Walking around with like 50 pounds of metal on you. So yeah. this is nice. Nice alternative. Thanks so much. Have awesome. a nice time. Thank you. Okay, um, if you if you read me on Tomo Pop, you know that I absolutely love. Sa I need to give you a hug. Exact point. Okay, uh, but um, maybe not so much on Japan tour uh, that you know whether I'm a big fan. But I had to stop this person because I've never seen a sack boy walking around at a con before. Tell me about your costume. Did you make it yourself? 
Um, actually, my mom helped me. Oh, okay. Um, it, we just made, we used some sort of fabric thing to make normal pants and a shirt. Then my mom used a really big needle to knit this little sweater uh -huh. in about less than an hour. Wow. I then just got some gloves at the store and that's and used duct tape to make the zipper part. That then, is, yeah. Yeah. The head is a little bit more complicated with a whole lot of foam and a see-through mouth right here. That is really awesome and very creative. Uh, definitely goes with the theme of Little Big Planet, so I'm glad we ran into you. Okay, this one, I had to stop this girl because Belle is my absolute favorite Disney princess and her dress looks very pretty. It's got lots of nice little details, even like Mickey Mouse shaped. Uh, yeah, hidden Mickey. Yeah, the hidden Mickey. It looks really cute. So tell me a little bit about yourself, about do you come to Otacon often and what do you like to dress as? Well, I've been I've been coming to Otacon since 2007 and every year since. I love it so much. It's my favorite. Um, I cosplay Belle and I also cosplay Harley Quinn. Oh, I love you even more. Oh. <laughs> I have the full-on uh, bodysuit and it's she's one of my favorite characters as well. That is awesome. You're very rad. I'm glad that we got to stop you. So beautiful costume. Thanks Thank again. You so much. Belle's my favorite. Oh. Okay, this time we are into a really huge group of wonderful Vocaloids, even the ones we don't see very often over here. And um, you guys look fantastic, all of you. Um, do, are you participating in, the, in a cosplay contest or anything? Oh, Black Rock Shooter, that's cool too. No? Oh! They all just ran into each other. This is amazing. Sorry? I can't believe Get used. You can talk. <laughs> um, hello. <laughs> okay, so they all ran into each other here, and they happened. We uh, by some some, I don't know, stroke stroke of fate. We uh, happened to all be here at the same time, so I can get them all on videos. So, okay. you guys look fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. run into three fabulous Pokemon trainers over here. So are the three of you Ash Ketchum or are you just... Yeah. No, we're all yeah. Ash. You're all Ash. Okay, and... Oh, that's right. It says Ash on your tags. You all have Ash on it. All right, did the three of you make your costumes? No. No. no they're generic uh, purchase and it's got little hats and everything. So what's your favorite Pokemon? My favorite Pokemon's got to be Charmander. Pikachu. Bulbasaur. Three different tastes, three different ashes, but this was like what I was talking about earlier. There's just a lot of Pokemon at the con this year, so I had to stop at least a few trainers, and your costumes look fantastic, so. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> need focus? Okay, here's another piece of my childhood at Otakon. The entire crew, the, all of the Sailor Scouts are over, even Rini is here, Tuxedo Mask. This is a wonderful group of people. Um, did you all make your costumes? Yeah. Are you all here together? Yeah. Do you frequent Otakon? Yeah. Are you excited about the manga revival of Sailor Moon? Yeah. yeah. We're all very excited and this is a very beautiful group right here. So thanks for taking the time to uh, talk to our, to our website really quick here. You're welcome. You're welcome. I'm